now, here's Terry. My topic today is you can't afford to keep secrets. And this is the second talk in our four-part series on relationships. So if you know someone uh, who's in relationship, and everyone is, and if they're not in relationship, they really are. Their relationship is, I don't want to be with anybody. <laughs> but that's still a relationship. <laughs> so it's like no decision is a decision to stay where you are. And the important thing isn't what you decide, it's that you decide, and that you choose, and that you keep moving, and that you keep growing, and uh, not so much uh, you know, each little decision being big, important deal, but it's do decide. So call that person. Call those people. Invite them to watch the program this morning. And uh, the topic, you can't afford to keep secrets. Now, I, we're going to have a little secret here. I, mean, I want to just move in to the television set. <laughs> it's just you and me. And, now, and so I want you to answer honestly, and I'm going to ask you to raise your hand if the answer is yes. Okay, now I know you're going to have people around you that you're going to go, I don't want them to know. I don't want them to know at all. And then now look, why don't you want them to know? See, what you have to do is question. If you're experiencing a lack of money, because we found that in the ministry, two things people want to know about, money and relationships. And they're both based on the same thing, my relationship to God. So we make money the source, so we either have it or don't have it, knowing, not knowing we are the source through God of abundance. So if you, if you give what you want to have, you will always have what you want. But people say, well, give it to me first, and then I'll share it. <laughs> Does not work that way. You have to give it first because it's your acknowledgement or your affirmation of what you have. That's why tithing works, contribution works. And that's why what you're doing is you open the flow. And relationships, they say, well, yeah, listen, when that person loves me enough, and I know for certain, and I'm really secure, then I will commit. See, see, commitment in relationships work. I don't know where it will go, and there are no guarantees. You know, when you love your kid, you don't say, I'm going to love my kid, and they're going to live with me forever. You know, God forbid. <laughs> you know, after a while, you say, get out, get out. Uh, 28 years old, and they're still living with mom. I mean, you say, what's going on? Maybe, maybe mom's afraid of being, you know, accepting God as her source and has made the kid the source. So relationships, money, anything else has to do with your relationship with God. So we're always talking about one relationship, our spiritual relationship. And there are principles, see? And when you follow those principles, what happens is your life works that way. But you're constantly in a process of evolving, letting go of the past, and as you participate in life, you get to see what works and what doesn't. What's the truth and what's a lie? You never get to see it if you stay stuck, but then you fall prey to the ills of the world. Disease is not natural. It is not natural. You do not need to be sick. Just strike that out of your mind. You do not need to experience death. Death is not a reality. God is not a murderer. So what you need to begin to ask is why disease? Why poverty? You know, why don't I want to tell the person next to me about myself? Why don't I want to share? Why don't I want to reveal? Why don't I even want to share my talents? You know, some of us were sitting there with so much talent. Boy, I could, I could do a better job than Terry. <laughs> but Terry's up here. <laughs> that I do a better job. It's just somewhere I said, well, I better do it or I'm going to pass this whole thing by. I'm not going to get to give the gift. You know, and someone isn't going to come knock on your door and say, time now, Terry, for you to give your gift. We're waiting. Come on out, honey. You know, it's like you'll sit in there and rot before. Plus, the people that do ask you to come out, no, no, I'm not going to share. Because you're afraid of the secrets that you're hiding in your own mind. You're afraid somebody's going to find out. Say, you're afraid. You don't want people to know all that stuff. And the more you have secrets, and the more you hide out, what happens is the more you withhold your gift from life, the more you withhold yourself, the more you withhold life from you, and the less life you experience because it takes an incredible amount of energy to hide those secrets and keep you in dark. And the secrets are really thoughts that you have. Thoughts that you have about how bad you are. 
And if you think you're that bad, for sure you don't want anybody else to find out, because for sure they won't love you. You know, they won't love you. So we have to look at what is the cause of, of, of you know, my, my withholding myself in a relationship, or the cause of poverty, or the cause of war, or the cause of crime. You look deep inside and say, why do I create that? What's going on with me? The ills of the world are not natural that you get with just being, you know, say, honey, you say to a new kid, I'm so glad you're born. See, I'll, you know, and we're going to do a secret in just a minute. So glad that you're born, baby. Now, can you hear mommy? This world is a pile of garbage. <laughs> and the first breath, honey, you're one step closer to death. And if you make it, you'll be sick and wind up in an old folks home. Of course, nobody will love you. You'll never have any money. And honey, if you make it to a certain age, you know for sure you're going to get it with a nuclear bomb. Now, I want you to have a good time while you're here. your little mind about it <laughs> but it is inevitable don't forget that you're going to get old you're going to get wrinkled you're going to get lonely you're going to get sick and you know what you're going to get mugged especially if you're in, you're in new york at least two or three times on your elevator you've got to accept it you've got to get a gun you have got to get tear gas you have got to find some way you also if god forbid none of that happens to you you will be hurt in relationship yeah, it hurts to love. You know, you're going to know that pain in your heart. You're going to suffer. They're going to walk out on you. You know, your kids are going to disappoint you. You know? And it's, it's, you know, but listen, don't let any of this worry you. And I want you to know this is God's gift to you.